Hello and welcome to this week's update. I hope you are all well and looking after yourselves. Um, obviously, um, COVID is still with us. Um, so the first part of this is just updating you on the rules and regulations. As you're probably aware, on the 27th last week, um, all regulations were scrapped. Pambly has come to an end. Despite the fact that COVID rates are rising for school-aged children and um, parents of school-aged children. Um, as I've mentioned, all now of my three children have had COVID. They've been in a period of isolation. I know it's not easy. So I'm still really, really aware of that. People are still dying. People are still getting really, really poorly as a result of that. So we've got to make sure that we keep each other safe. So as a school, obviously, we don't want to go against what the government is saying, but we also want to keep you safe. So we're still saying that face masks are a personal choice. Um, we'd like as many people to wear them as possible. I'll still be wearing my mask around the building. We'll be asking children to. Um, and again, if you've had any positive cases in your um, household, then please support us with that. Support us with getting children to wear face masks into school. It will make everyone safer. Um, but obviously, um, we will review things. And should we need to increase our protocols, we will again. So just to repeat that it's now going to be an optional choice for face masks. We'll still be encouraging students to wear them. We won't be handing them out anymore. Um, but uh, please, again, support us with that. Thank you very much for that. And then the second thing that I want to share is just, um, as you know, I'm really, really proud of the school. And one of the things I'm most proud of is about how well we can keep children safe. And going to secondary school and going to primary school, you know, starting that journey is terrifying. I get that as a parent. You know, there's nothing worse when your child comes home and they're feeling a little bit sad and you're trying to work out what's going on. Um, but I'm really proud of, of our well-being team and our pastoral team. And I just want to share with you on the board, uh, on the board, on the screen now, uh, a couple of slides. Um, this is from the Electronic uh, Health and Needs um, survey, which is taken every year. And that's an anonymous survey that every school in Calderdale takes from uh, year sevens and year tens. And these are our results uh, from last year. And as you can see, um, we are, have got an incredibly low rate of bullying in the school. We're the, we are the, we have the school with the lowest rate of bullying in Calderdale. And we're also one of the happiest schools in Calderdale. So this second graph looks at how safe and how happy children are feeling. And I'm, it's something I'm really, really proud of. Schooling nowadays is really challenging. There's a lot of pressure in schools. We talk about well-being a lot. But I'm really proud of the fact that our children, your children, feel safe and feel happy in school. And I just wanted to share that with you because I know that, as I say, as a parent, you've always got concerns. And I'd love to say that these incidents don't ever happen in school, but you can see that our children feel safe, your children feel safe, feel happy in school. And finally, uh, just on that, just to say that it's really lovely to hear again um, how strong the school's reputation is getting and the fact that we've got more parents than ever choosing our school for reception and in year seven. So the initial numbers are looking really, really strong there. It's nice to know that we're going from strength to strength. So that's it from me this week. Um, I shall leave you to it and uh, have a lovely weekend and the rest of the week. Take care, everyone.